Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to show you this beautiful journal that's not open yet. I do not have it open. Uh, it is a journal that I purchased from Miss Lorna Taylor, also known as a blue, um, at least on my channel. And uh, I am super excited to open this and show you guys the wonderful work she did. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, that's so pretty. So I had to, I had to buy it. Um, and now I'm just trying to get it out because <laughs> uh, it's stuck. It's like bubble wrap wrapped in bubble wrap because the envelopes bubbled too. Uh, okay, go over there. All right. Ooh, I like the green bubbles. I love green bubbles. Sorry. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay. So, fold up my pretty green bubbles. Because I'm silly like that. That's really cool. So, she used um, embossing powder here. Like, she stamped with you know, one of her stamps, and then she used embossing powder. That's really cool. All right, so. Aw, that's so sweet. She just said thank you for the order and supporting her channel or her shop. Absolutely, and I hope you enjoy your journal. Heck yeah, man. I already enjoy it. I haven't even seen it yet. I'm like, yeah. The packaging is so cool. Like, can y'all see that? First of all, this napkin. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. That's awesome. Uh, wait a minute. Are you in a knot? You're in a knot. Oh, crap. Okay. One momento. Um, all right. Dunk. No more knot. All right. Some paper doilies. Aren't those pretty? And I actually really like how she turned one backwards because it changes the texture of the look. That's really cool. I like paper doilies. I don't use them near enough. I love them and they're amazing. And uh, this is awesome sauce. Check out this napkin. Holy crap, man. You should sell these. I would so buy more. Those are, those are cool. Uh, oh, and by the way, for those of you who don't know, she lives in Canada, so the napkins that she is able to get are very different than the ones that we can get here. Um, so she's got this wrapped in pattern paper, like uh, the pattern tissue paper, the sewing pattern. Whee! <laughs> it's like Christmas. Oh my god, it is so huge. Oh, it makes noise. It's jingling. I can hear it. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. So, um, it's upside down. Go that way. Alright, uh, let me fold this up real quick so it's not just wadded up and thrown on my floor. Because that's what I sure enough would do with it. Oh, hold that. But this way, I can keep it on my desk and I'll use it. Um, all right. Folded. Yay. All right. Oh my God, this is crazy. Uh, crazy, good, crazy. Oh, wait, do you come off? Yeah, uh, shame on me. I did not watch the video. Uh, I saw the cover and I was like, uh, yes, mine. Thanks. <laughs> Um, oh, that's really cool. Okay, so I recognize the trim. This is really nice. I like this a lot. Uh, this is actually corrugated cardboard that she has textured. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, 
Oh, very nice. I like this a lot. This is sorry silk here. And some lace. Ow. I got glue on my fingers. Oh, cool. So a library card. And a oh, this bullet book belongs to. It's a little book plate thing. And, oh, that's cute. I don't know what it is. It's vintage. I can feel that. That's really cool. I like that. Oh, some more um, embossing. That's really neat. I like how she did that. I like this. This is really neat. It's got some vintage ephemera here. Uh, I can't read that. No idea what it says. It's really pretty though. And this is all on the cover. I haven't even opened the cover yet. I like that. It's got a lot of sewing. Uh, your sewing machine must be like super on steroids because this is really, really thick and she sewed through it. I have no idea how she did that. Like I'm trying to figure out how she got her sewing machine to work through, cause this is, this is hard. Very, very hard. Oh. Sorry, my journal was attaching to... Is this washi tape? I think it is. That is beautiful. No, I think this might be rice paper, actually. Because it's the same texture, I think. Because uh, washi tape real raw washi tape is made with rice paper. Anyway, this is really pretty. I love this. And I love like the layered look here. I think this is rice paper. Um, and this is, this is hard. So this is very sturdy. And this is also not opening, so I think I need to untie something else. So this is the front cover. And um, and what I really like about this is there are some things dangling off, which I actually like, but it's, for my taste, I like it to where it's not so much dangly that you need a whole nother shelf just to contain the dangle. So I really, really love this. This is amazing. Um, and no, I haven't actually opened the book yet, but um, here's another piece of lace on the back. It's actually a pocket. You could put something inside of it. It's the napkin. Check that out. I like the color that she used, the color of the thread. And I like the spine choice. It's super soft, like it's real soft. Um, so it's a piece of fabric with some lace fabric on top. And like it's, it's really soft. But I like them like that too. That's like an interesting concept. I've never seen them like that. Um, I've always seen like the hard the hardback. So it's an interesting concept for sure. But I like it. It feels nice in the hands. Like it's, it's, this is truly an art piece. Like I'm not sure that I would use this journal. Um, I really wanted, I, the reason I bought this journal was not to use it. It was to display it because it is beautiful and I wanted to see it. Uh, that's stuff. There's stuff. 
Ah, there's stuff. I knew there was stuff. I saw this stuff. All right. So that's kind of cool. Is there more stuff in there? So she actually left this open. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay. So she covered this with some sort of paper here and then she put the rice paper or washi or whatever this is on top of that to get that layered effect. That is so cool, dude. Oh, I love it. Okay, so inside, oh, that's cool. Uh, you'll have to tell me what this coin is. Is that like your equivalent to a dime or a nickel or a penny? Because I know like um, the, I think the English penny is pence. Is that right? I don't know what it, oh, that's not supposed to come off. Stay there. Um, so is that what this is? Your Canadian version of one of our coins? I like this envelope. It's very cool. Oh, that's neat. Look at this. All right. So you can like really seal the envelope up here by pushing that back there and then that uh, in here. Okay. That's how it's supposed to go, I promise. There we go. Like that. Cool, huh? That's really neat. I like that. Sorry, this video is going to be a little longer than 30 minutes, I think. <laughs> okay. Imperial Bank of Canada. I'll oh, check that out. That's cool. This is from 1942. It's got a paid uh, stamp on it. Can y'all see that? It says paid. Probably not. Oh, you can see it better like that. That's really cool. And then another piece of ephemera. This is, um, it looks like another check. might be a receipt maybe but it's from 1908 uh, I can't read French so I'm guessing it's either a receipt or a check um, oh that's pretty some coffee dyed scrapbook paper here with some pretty inking effect it's really nice I like that all right, um, actually I'm gonna put all of these together in pocket. Come here, pocket. Okay, lift you back up. Pocket. Oh, not that one. That one doesn't fit. It's like, just kidding. All right. Ooh, you might fit back here though. You might fit back here. stuff contained. All right. So 20 minutes in and we're getting to the first page. <laughs> this journal is awesome. Oh, this is sorry silk too, by the way. So here's the first page. Um, this is, what is it? This feels like wallpaper. Is this wallpaper? That's really cool. That actually gives me some ideas. Um, hmm. Oh, I love the embossing. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh, more embossing. And yes, I know I say it weird. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, fabric. That's really pretty. I like that. Oh, there's embossing here too. Oh, she did the whole thing. That's why. Oh, that's cool. And 
and this is, uh, it's multi-layered. I can feel it. How do I open you? Ah, figured it out. And this has got, um, I want to say that this is embossing powder, actually. Maybe not. I don't know. It feels like it, though, because it's textured. Keep, I have to keep remembering to look up to see if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, because I'm just, like, engrossed in this. It is so cool. Um, this is very thin. I'm not sure what this is. Um maybe tracing paper or um, or onion skin maybe but it's very transparent kind of see there I like the now Lorna I'm actually curious do you make your own papers or do you purchase them these are really pretty I like the embossing here too so there's several different types of embossing that she's doing right now. Like this is with um, the powders, like the heating tool and the powders. And then there's some where she's using an, a machine to emboss. This is really pretty. This is foil. Very cool. That's really neat. I like the foiling technique. I like the lace pockets too. It's really neat. I, would, I do like those. Hey, let go. I just said I liked you. Stop getting caught. Okay. Uh, this is a little flap. Oh, look how pretty. I like the colors in here. I like the vibrant colors. Like they're, it's different. You don't see it all the time in a lot of the journals and such. So I, I really do appreciate it when because like I said, I did not watch the video on this. I had no idea what the inside of this looked like. Other than the few pictures that she posted on Etsy, no idea. Um, I like, I really like the different texture on this one. This is a mixed media card. And um, you can feel the different textures. It's really, really, really neat. Like you just want to pet it and touch it. It says um, an alteration tag is what it used to be. But this is, oh man, that is so cool. And this pocket, look at the pocket. That's cool. Oh, see, this is another one that's got multiple mediums. It's on, it's on this. That's the multiple mediums. Because this has got like three different layers of paint on it, I think. Oh, that is so cool. I love the details that she's put into this. Like this is a tag and she's got so much details in this tag. It is crazy. It's a picture and another little tag. That's really neat. Did you fussy cut this? That is insane. Girl, <laughs> you like them fussy cuttings, don't you? I, I don't like fussy cutting. I like fussy cutting for a hot minute and then I'm like, nope, I'm done. My hands hurt. And I think if my hands didn't hurt so bad doing the fussy cutting, I think I would be fine with it. I like this one. And I think one of the things that I like the best, because I've never had Miss Lorna's products before, like her, her handmade products. I've had her digitals before, <clears throat> but I've never had her handmade products. And I think one of the things that I really like the best is you're going from page to page and it's different. It's It doesn't match. It's not matchy matchy. It's not one style. It's not, um, it, it's not all pinks and creams and beiges. It's not all just browns. It's not all just blues or golds. Like this page is yellow and gold, but she's got silver in there too. Uh, this page, is got you know it's got really really dark golds it's got the bronze color it's got red in it it's got more gold in it and then this color's got stark white or this color this page has got stark white on there like i absolutely love how she is combining things that in 
like, and we, we had a conversation in our live chat one day and she, she had made a comment like rules, what rules? <laughs> now I understand because she doesn't follow the rules of crafting either. And I think it's absolutely amazing. Like this is probably not going to be the last journal that I, I purchased from her. Like this in and of itself is a prime example. Um, there's pink and blue on the same page. Um, most people would not put them in the same project, nevertheless the same page. And I love this. I absolutely love that she did that. She's like, rules? Psh, I don't follow stinking rules. And I love it. I I just, I do. I absolutely love it. This is just amazing. Um, like this one's got silver and gold. It is just, it is so cool. And I love the texture on here, by the way. The texture is really cool. I love this piper that you've chosen. It's really cool. Is this one? It's really neat. And again, with the lace pockets. Love that. Paper doilies. Right beside, like it's, it's painted gold right beside the silver, which is also right beside the bronze. Like I, man, you have completely made my day. Like you, you don't even know to see someone else that is so like prominent in creating journals and praised in cre uh, creating journals to see that your style is so much like, I don't really have a style. I'm just going to put stuff together that I think is pretty cool. Um, like that is amazing to me. You, you just don't know how much you have made my day. You don't know. Because it really just goes to show it doesn't matter what, other people like you need to create what you like and whether other people think that it matches or not by the way I love this tag if you like it that is what matters and I'm just I'm seeing that the more I flip through that the more I flip through this the more I'm seeing that and it is just like I said it is a great wonderful wonderful thing and I absolutely love it. Oh, that's the middle. Okay, I was like, what, what is that? I'm so in awe right now. You just don't know. Oh, that is so cool. Like I said, you just, you have no idea. It just has made my day. I like the stamping work on here. This is pretty cool with the, the gold inking. Oh, look, a charm. It's so pretty. It's got a bail. Can you hear it? That is so cool. Oh, look at that. I like that. Now, I'm wondering if she's doing embossing with this or if she is doing stencil work with this with textured paste. Because it could be uh, the textured paste and then inking over top of that. Let go of my thing. Uh, foil again. That is so cool. Dude, I just... I mean, look at this. This is bright pink. This is just, dude, you have no idea. You have made my day. Like, because you look at the cover and you instantly think that this is going to be a shabby chic. Because that's what the cover says, right? Based on the rules. 
I say that very loosely. Hi. Um, but based on everything that is what the <laughs> based on everything that is inside the journal, it's just not. And it is so cool. Okay, I'll stop. Maybe. Oh man. Just oh gosh. You just don't know. You you don't know? My my day has been made. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I love this. So this is a vellum pile. Oh my god, look at the wax seal. I love the wax seals. Okay, so this is a um a vellum pocket. This is vellum. And on the front, there's another little pocket here. Like, check that out. Isn't that cool? Oh my god, that is so cool. <laughs> I love this. Dude, I'm in heaven. Yay! Oh no. No, no. You don't get to do that. Go in there nicely. Oh, another little charm. Oh, you can't see it. Boo. Okay. Oh, did you make this one? That's really cool. I like that. Is that an envelope? Oh, I lied. This is a letter. This is a letter that is folded like an envelope so they can address it and stamp it so they don't have to buy the envelope. That is cool. And this is a I don't know, don't speak French. Uh, a receipt, maybe? The way it's lied, lined out, it maybe looks like a receipt. Uh, I don't have a date. Uh, the date is 97. I don't think that's right. But that's what that says. But that's, I don't think that's right. Well, that says 97 too. Well, maybe it is 97. No. Nope. Because this says 1892. That makes more sense. Because this is I don't know. It's the feel of the paper, I think, is what gives it away as being really, really old. <coughs> but, anywho, um, it's pretty neat how they did that with the whole, I'm not going to be able to put this back, fold. E, come here, you. I will when You watch me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Perfect. Alright, so, yeah, this one's going to be a long video. Sorry, guys. Um, but, yeah, I just, I absolutely love your construction. I love your concepts and your ideas within the journal. I love the split pages that you do here. Um, it is, it's really cool. <coughs> Sorry, I swallowed wrong. Um, and I love the fact that you have such a big, um, contrast in colors and maybe that's a style in and of itself I don't know I don't know enough about the rules of things to be able to say okay this is that style or this is that style and you know I'm sure somebody is going to come on here and be like you know oh well it's that specific style and that's why the colors are so drastically different from one another which is fine I mean I, I have no problem being educated I'm just saying that I've been told many times not to, um, you know, do this or do that or whatever. Um, and it's just, it's very nice to see someone successful in the business who does exactly what I do and just puts things together because it looks cool. I really like this. That's really pretty. And this that I'm bossing on here is really cool. 
kind of paper is this? This is interesting paper. I like that. But like I said, I'm sure somebody is going to come on here and tell me, you know, that it's a specific style, which is fine, like I said. Um, I like how you folded the doily. That's really neat. Um, like I said, I'm not educated enough in all of these things to know, like, if uh, there is a style to mix all these colors up like this. I just think it's great that you did because it gives us little people hope, man. It gives us hope that we can do it too. That's really cool. I like this. Oh, that's cool. It's a little brown bag. How interesting is that? Little postcard. I think these are vintage style postcards. These are cool. I like this. And I like that you use so many die cuts. That's really cool, too. Hey. Get out of my envelope. Zena's sniffing my envelope. Ooh, this, I like this trim. I like the, the different designs on your coffee paper. It's really neat. Now, do you do this to your tape? Because I know that's something that um, has become a thing lately. Oh, look. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got embossing on the... This is a glassine bag. So, for those of you who don't know, there's a difference between parchment, um, vellum, and glassine. <laughs> this is a glassine bag. Oh, that's neat. This is from uh, Mars, 1929. I don't know what this is either, but this is cool. Looks like maybe a check. But it's got stamps on it, so I don't know. Maybe not. Hey. Hey. Get in there. Go in the bag. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Well, heck, this one you completely cut off. I like that. Some foil. Another bag. Some lace here. Oh, well, this page is a just a great example of, you know, mixing the whole color scheme. Like I said, I think it's awesome and you just give so much hope to us little people that, you know, don't know anything about style or, you know, what should be or what shouldn't be or, you know, what could be or what, sh you know, couldn't be or whatever. I like the dangles. That's cool. It's a little fabric flip dealio. They look pretty. Some tool. I like that color tool. It's like a bronzy color. I like that fabric. It's pretty. Hey, get over there. Um, looks like some blank checks. Some more beautiful paper. Um, I want to say that I've seen paper like this. I just can't remember what it was exactly. So this is really cool. This is a pocket made from tulle with appliques um, sewn into the tool. So I think that this whole thing was like one piece and she just utilized the tool part of it and made a pocket. Um, so this is a glassine bag with some sorry silk and a paper doily. This is here. I like the applique. Beautiful girl. Bloop. Some pieces on this side. 
some more of the paper doilies. I like the different shapes of these. And then there's the back. I like that. That's cool. You know what this kind of feels like, though? Um, the more I'm going through here, um, this is, um, I don't remember if it's onion skin or tracing paper, but one of them has a watermark in it, and that's what this one is. This one has a watermark in it. Um, but the more I'm going through here, the more I uh, kind of get like a boho feel to it. And maybe that's the style behind, you know, being able to mix and match all the colors and such. So maybe I just need to say that I'm boho style. Because I do all kinds of color combinations that shouldn't go together. Like green and pink and gold and silver and white and cream and blue. And <laughs> this one's got blue, gold, and pink and green and gold and white. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love all of the different textures that you did. Um, I like this uh, crackle. I, don't, I have no idea. Oh, I think I've seen... Or I've heard someone talk about how you can get like this crackle effect. Um, it's a certain medium that you use, but that's really neat. I like that. And I like the different textures that you're using. Like you have crackle here that looks very aged, very worn. And then you've got other pieces that are like, they look brand new and not very worn at all. Um, I like the combination between the two. It's basically like, you know... I'm not any one style. I am, I don't, man, I'm telling you, I, I just, I want to be you when I grow up because this is amazing. This is from 19, or from 1896, this little piece of paper. And I know that I'm keep talking about that a lot, but it's just, I don't, I don't even know how to say that enough. I mean, yes, I know that I bought this journal, but I just want to thank you because you you can't imagine what seeing this journal has done because this journal is a combination between vintage and old or vintage old and new it's a combination between shabby chic which is very monocolored um or very simplistic in color to boho which is the polar opposite which is very complex with color and very you know out there and mixes colors that shouldn't be mixed and uh, it's just so cool it's it's very mixed media and very you know journaly at the same time and I, oh man it's just you're my hero i like that the little cards inside the envelope thingies I'm not going to pull the other one out because it's fun trying to get it back. <laughs> but I like how you glued the ribbon so it's stiff. I recently did that on one of mine as well. Not journals. It was a flip book. But yeah. Alright. You had this in here. I know you did. There we go. And the little... Um, what's it called, the, uh, the bulb pen with the, the bell and the doily, the little piece of lace. Oh, look at that, that's pretty. Some more check. Some paper. It's the other side of the envelope there, or the bag rather. The little piece of paper in there. A little applique. It's the other side of the glassine bag here. Also been embossed with uh, something. Come here. So this is a postcard from 1908. Very old. I 
I was just looking because um, normally from nine. Oh, it's Canadian though, so it's different. Dirt. I was gonna say normally from 1908 the stamps are one cent, um, but yeah, I forgot about the fact that it's Canadian. <laughs> um, some more of that really cool tape um, that people make. That's neat. I like it. I dig it. Some ledger. Doily. Some more sari silk with some trim here. The other side of this bag. I like these bags. They're cool. There's so much space to put all kinds of stuff in. It's a little clip out here. Uh, this is a paintbrush method, I think, with the coffee dye. Because I can see the brush strokes right there. That's cool. Mine never come out that cool. <laughs> I've done the paintbrush method with the coffee dye. Mine never come out that cool. A uh, card here. Oh, I lied. This is an envelope. Uh, I like this paper clip. It's very neat. I haven't seen those. So that's what the front looks like. That's really cool. My chair is all squeaky, squeaky. I don't know if you can hear that. That's really neat. Another lace pocket with some more tags. And such. Another embossed page. Page? Another embossed page. I really like this. I'm wondering if this is wallpaper. That's what it feels like. It looks like it's wallpaper that has been printed on. Like as in you stuck it through your printer and printed an image. Because that would be really cool. Another embossed piece. Another embossed envelope. And another, oh, ugh, a scrapbook paper. Like, I like how she's dyed the scrapbook paper. Like, you can see the difference between the white and the cream here. That's really cool. I like the map. Map is neat. Okay. All right. Um, can I get you back in here? Okay, I might have to refrain from taking things out of pockets. <laughs> okay. So, but this just gives me inspiration because... Um, somebody asked once, uh, what kind of journal I want to make, uh, for 2020. And my response was, I want to make an alligator mouth journal because I've never made one before. Um, so it definitely gives you inspiration to do that, especially since I'm seeing that our styles are actually very similar. Um, and I'm sure that people that know you well and know me are probably going to be like, no, they're not similar at all. Y'all are nothing alike, which is fine. Um, I think that we are similar in style because we both just kind of put things together that look good together, that we think look good together. Another lace pocket. I like the lace pockets. Those are cool. And I really like the, the, the split page, how you've done that throughout the book. I think that's really cool. You don't see that too often. I like the little metal pieces that you've added throughout as well. This is soft. I like that. Um... Taj Mahal. It's really pretty. Taj Mahal. I like that. Um, another little writing space. And 
These might be actually printouts that she does because um, that's one thing about her shop is she's got digitals from things that, where did that come from? Um, she, she collects old vintage books and um, pamphlets and papers and such and then she'll copy them or she'll scan them, she'll resize them, reformat them and everything and offer those as digitals. So I'm wondering if that's not what some of these are. Another, I like this background lace here. This is sorry trim, isn't it? Because I've seen this before. This is really cool. Pretty sure I've... Oh. I don't know. Pretty sure I've sold something like that before. <laughs> but it's a uh, uh, sorry trim, which is just, it's trim that's made in India. It's uh, normally handmade. A lot of the fabrics and such come from India are handmade. Um, to the best of my understanding, let me rephrase that. I don't want anybody to be like, oh, well, Tasha said it's true. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I don't know what I'm talking about. I like this the chandelier. This is I know I've seen this paper before. You're gonna have to tell me what this paper is because I know I've seen this paper before, and I'm almost positive I have it. I just can't think of what it is. And the reason that I liked it was, well, there you go. It's mixing pinks and golds and silvers and bronze and grays and creams and like it mixes everything. It's like my style of paper. Oh, look at that. Oh, I thought that was loose. I was like, what? She, she signed it. Yay. That's so cool. Oh, and it's a page of, uh, that's neat. That's a cool concept. Eat. It's a page of, of, uh, lacy stuff. Oh, you know, I never thought about doing that with the tags. So I've got a few of these little tag things. And I've stamped the inside, but I've, I've never thought about cutting circles and putting those there. That's cool. I like that. And then a key. This is all on a bulb pen. I like how she uses bulb pens throughout the, the journal. That's pretty neat. And then... This is stay me. Um, giant envelope. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so she cut out a window. Like, you see that? She cut out a window. So whatever you put in there. Now, obviously, I'm not going to fold this up. But whatever you put in there shows up in the back. That's cool. <laughs> I so want one of these stamps. I don't have one, but that is so cool. I like how she's got the different techniques of these different punches that she's done. And she's painted them and, you know, she's done a, a bunch of stuff with different mediums to make them feel different. I really like that. I like the different textures that she uses. It says, challenge the world. I love that. I love that. That is so cool. This is something that has been embossed here uh, with that press. There's a watermark on it. Something. Timbre. Yeah, y'all can't see that, but. Um, oh, actually, 
You might. Yep, right there. Anyway, uh, this is pretty neat. I don't know what it is, but it feels cool, too. I like the feel of it. It's really neat. It's so cool. And the map. Here. I like that. That's pretty cool. And then, I know I have this paper. <laughs> that is going to bug me. <laughs> I've got to figure out what this paper is. I'm going to go, um, cause I've got, I've got a paper line that looks so similar to the scrapbook paper she used throughout here. Um, like all of this and this and this and I don't know about that one. Um, just, I, I don't know. I just, all of this. That again. That one. I love this. This is like wallpaper or something. Like you just want to keep flipping through here and just like looking at everything. That is just, ah, uh, it's so cool. But you see what I mean though? How you look at the cover and it looks like it's sh like everything inside is going to be like this and then you start flipping through it and it's like psh, nope it is completely different I love this I actually kind of want to do something real quick um only because I feel like this is her style a little bit more it's I mean obviously it's all her style it's her work but I don't know, it's just like a little peeky boo of what you're gonna get in there I like the challenge the world part though I really like that part challenge the world so now that I broke your cover, I'm sorry. I do that. I bought a book from, uh, who did I buy it from? Johnny, I think. And, uh, I snipped all of, <laughs> all of, because she sews a lot. And I snipped all of the extra threads. And she's like, my baby! <laughs> it was funny. But I was like, but I bought it. It's mine now. <laughs> Which is true. Um... But yeah, I, I love this. I really, really like this a lot. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I love how you have combined everything so well and just so meticulously paid attention to all the details. It's amazing. Um, it's just, it's, it's. I don't even know what to say. It's amazing. And thank you so much for letting me buy this. Thank you so much for very quick shipping, by the way. Even from Canada, it was quick shipping. Um, and, um, I mean, I don't even remember the day that I bought it, but I want to say it was like maybe Friday last week, Thursday maybe. I don't even remember exactly what day it was, but... Uh, today is Wednesday, um, January 29th, and it came in the mail today. So anyway, this is an hour-long video. So uh, thank you so much for this. This is amazing, um, and it is stunning. It is beautiful, and you are such an inspiration to me. Like I just have such a new level of respect for you. I had respect for you anyway, but after having this, in my hands and really being able to flip through it and appreciate the the mix of styles the mix of colors the mix of textures the mix of everything is just so awe-inspiring to me you just don't understand like I cannot put into words like you have made my concept of what I want to do with my art 
a reality because you are a successful journal maker and you are very praised by many many people and the fact that you do this is just so amazing to me and very awe-inspiring and I love it and thank you so much um, so if you guys could definitely go check out Miss Taylor made journals she the she has amazing digitals but her work her craftsmanship, her attention to detail is just, it's so, it's so, so good. And if you really like eclectic um, mix of styles, then I, I feel like that's what this is. I feel like this is an eclectic journal. This is not a shabby chic journal. This is not a boho journal. This is not a vintage journal. This is not a new age journal. This is an eclectic journal. In my opinion, what little bit I know about styles, this feels and looks like like an eclectic journal which is a mix of various styles and various techniques and various you know ways of doing things so that's what it feels like to me I could be wrong I know nothing all I know is if you like journals and you appreciate good art go to Taylor made journals and she has amazing stuff so anyway thank you guys so much for watching this and thank you again Miss Lorna you are amazing and I love you guys Mwah! and y'all have a good day and I will see you guys all tomorrow uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you guys have a good night. Bye.